Hey folks, Jeremiah here trapping today. And in this video, I wanna show you how I make my under ice beaver snares. So um, I've evolved over the years uh, as a beaver snare guy and uh, trying different things. This is kind of where I'm at right now. And uh, that you know may change over time as I try different things. But right now I'm using a 5 64ths seven by seven cable. It's a Korean cable, pretty high quality. I uh, got this stuff from Dakota Line. And I've got a spot I mark out on my bench and I measure 42 inches. So 42 inches seems to be the length that works well for me to get the, the right uh, length on the snare, uh, the right size loop on the snare without much extra slack. So I take that on my cutter, cut that piece, and we got our length to work with. Now, um, the key components of the snare are pretty simple. We have a uh, 5 64ths cam lock. Uh, this one's black, they don't need to be black, it's just these were easier for me to find. Uh, the black is for like land snaring, so coyotes and fox and bobcats don't see the shiny metal on, on the lock. Um, really doesn't matter for under ice beaver trapping. Then we have uh, aluminum, uh, double ferrule again 5 ths to fit that cable and we're gonna have a couple of aluminum stops finally we're gonna use a 3 seconds aluminum double ferrule and this is gonna be used to to hang our snare and you'll see how I do that later you can actually use uh, just regular plastic tubing to, to accomplish the same thing but anyway what we're gonna start with is we're gonna take our snare cable um, 42 inches long we're going to grab our lock and uh, the easiest way that i come to think of it is this this ridge um, on the front of this lock uh, just think the the cable is climbing up the ridge so the cable goes up the ridge and through the slot come back around and then it's going to go through uh, the opening on the other end of your cam lock and then you're going to put your stop there so we get the stop on our bench swagger, get that crimped down. You can also take this, put it on uh, top of a vise and pound it down with a hammer. I've tried squeezing it in the vise, does not work out that well, doesn't get a good tight squeeze. So now we have our, um, our loop and as you notice, uh, the way this, the end of uh, the snare cable and the stop uh, goes into the lock, it makes your loop all messed up, see? Um, we want the loop to be a perfect uh, vertical plane. So in order to do that is we need to kink this end uh, where the stop is in order to let uh, the lock, the cam lock sit vertical. So very simply, I'm just looking at the angle that that came up at and I wanna take that cable and I'm gonna bend it 90 degrees to that angle. So we bend it down. See, we've got a 90 degree bend in, uh, in the end of our cable. Slide that back in and look, perfect. So now we got a, uh, a cable that lays, um, lays nice and flat. And the lock is just perfectly the way we want it. Um, as far as loading, uh, you can find a lot of videos on loading snares. I, I haven't found it to be incredibly necessary for under ice beaver trapping, um, snaring, but uh, basically run your loop to about half the normal width that a few times basically all that does is is uh makes this ridge a little bit rounder um, when you get a loop formed instead of more of a teardrop and uh, as they pull um, going over that ridge um, of the of the snare uh, you get a little bit more spring and that snare is going to want to close faster um, again i don't find a huge difference under ice snaring but uh it's uh, it's an added benefit so then all there is left to do is put our hanger on. So this, again, it's an oversize, it's 330 seconds on a 564 cable. So we put that double ferrule on one end. Um, and basically what this is gonna do is once we get our loop size right, that uh, ferrule is where we're gonna stick our, our pigtail wire through to, uh, that's anchored to our pole and uh, that's gonna support the snare, the, the height that we want it, the angle that we want it, and we can adjust that down, up, side, side, um, whatever which way we wanna go with it. Um, 
you can, like, like I said, you can also use uh, plastic tubing. Um, it's a little less a little, a little less durable, but uh, it is cheaper. Uh, although you can reuse these uh, a number of times. And then finally, we're just going to make the end of our snare. And different people do this differently. Um, some people like to just make a loop and close it. I like to have an adjustable loop. Uh, again, a little more expensive because you use an extra stop, but it's just a few pennies. So this is uh, that 5 uh, aluminum double ferrule. We're just going to run in one end and make a loop, run out the other. And we're going to extend this a little further so we can get our stop on. Once we get that stop on, we're going to run it onto our bench swagger. Crimp it down so we get the stop on the end. We pull it tight. And now what we have, it seems to work just perfectly, where we have a loop that we can widen out. We can get it onto our, our vertical snare pole. Uh, pretend my fingers are the pole and we can just cinch it down to uh, the tightness that we need to get it wrapped around that pole. And if you notice the way that I made this, the um, plane of the snare is perpendicular to the plane of the loop on the end. And what that means is uh, when we set this down uh, through our, our uh, pole, our snare is is going to hang perfectly vertical. And that's pretty important because if your loop is this way, it's gonna wanna make the snare go this way or that way. Um, in the air, it's not a big deal because the gravity is going to pull it down. But if it's in the water, the snare is a little bit lighter and that tension can pull the snare off kilter a little bit easier. So then we got this around our pole. We've uh, we got our pigtail wire run through the pole and run it up through, through this uh, double ferrule. Adjust the height of our snare. Um, usually for a beaver, I like to be um, about the size of my open hand. I get a pretty, pretty big hand. Uh, that seems to catch uh, the large, uh, medium large beaver uh, right behind the ears. Um, the little guys uh, usually right behind the front legs and a variety of other locations uh, depending on the situation. Um, so they come in, boom, that's our snare. Um, works pretty well, pretty simple uh, to put together. Um, I used to use primarily 16th inch cable. I've kind of moved toward this 5 64ths uh, just experimentally this year and it's worked great. I'm going to make a bunch more of these. Um, so that's about it. Have a nice day.